Hey guys, how you doing? So what we're gonna do is a Riven challenge, another Riven rifle veiled mod to unlock. And what this one is is sustain a three times three by melee combo multiplier for 30 seconds alone. It obviously means you can do it solo. Uh, I find most of these Riven challenges best done solo. Um, I haven't really come across any that I've needed teammates for yet, so um, I've done quite a few of these ones before. Uh, so the best way I've found is, well the easiest way, not the best way because there's multiple ways to do them, but a really easy way to do it is with a Vorbin Prime. Get a perpetual vortex, um, good duration on your vortex or on your, your Vorbin build. Um, basically that's just going to suck all the enemies into the vortex so that you can just combo them with your melee weapon very, very easily. Now, most importantly for this one, because you need to sustain 30 seconds worth, and you need to get up to 130 kills, I believe it is, to get the three times multiplier, you're going to need as much combo duration time as possible on your melee weapon, just to make sure you get it done. Now to do that, there is two mods to use. One is body count, gives you an increase of 12 seconds. The other is a fairly new mod, is drifting contact, which gives you 10 seconds. So in total, you've got 22 seconds between hits to keep that combo multiplier adding up. So, uh, just to show you, I've just got this on this uh, secure penta, which I need to rank up again. So just throwing it on that. And the best way I've found this is to go to a, uh, a defense mission that has lots of enemies. Um, most I can get it done in is uh, just on the sixth wave. Um, I generally go to ACAD and I'm using the secure elector just to get some credits basically. Some extra credits. Um, but you can go anywhere. Um, survival maybe as well. But um, I find defense is pretty easy for me. But the most important part of this challenge is to make sure you've got that combo uh, duration multiplier on your melee weapon, the drifting contact, and the has been compromised. Uh, body count. So make sure those are on your weapons. Arrive. Make this really easy. And what we'll do is we'll just pump up some power. You know, with uh, with Vorbin, all you need to do is get his vortex out. Now we've got his augment mod on this. Perpetual vortex. And it's just a matter of letting them get stuck in the vortex. And swipe away. You can see we're up two times already, up to 15 kills. Seems like it's going to take a really short amount of time. That doesn't go until 2.5 until about. 50, I believe. Back some more vortexes in there. Got only a minute and a half of vortex time. Plenty of time. And the main reason to get your combination duration i.e. body count and drifting contact is between the rounds um, so you can get about 10 seconds uh, between rounds of the waves of enemies coming in so you want to make sure you've got enough time on your melee duration combination um, to account for that also once you get to wave 5 you've got the countdown timer um, if you want to stay or if you want to go uh, 45 kills there it is so we get to 2.5 I'm pretty sure it's 130 uh, from memory. 130 kills before you actually get to a uh, three times combo multiplier. A bit more energy. I do have Xenuric energy on here, uh, but it takes about three minutes, I think it is, before it actually stacks up and is ready for me to use. Um, just to be safe, I just like to search for some energy. Keep this vortex going and this just basically saves you from having to run around mad trying to find enemies um, this is a really good map because it's very small 
um, there's a pretty much only three, four entrances that they come in, um, so it makes stuff really easy to do. It is fairly quick, um, even though it's basically six waves you've got to do before you'll get to the, the, the melee uh, goal of, of three by multiplier. Um, the problem then is that you've got to go to ten rounds. So as I said, you, you could do this in a survival as well, um, but sometimes the waves of enemies do take a little while, depending on what map you're on. Um, I just find this is a constant. You're always going to get a certain number of enemies coming out. Here at Akkad, it's, uh, it's pretty good in terms of number of enemies appearing. Um, also good credits like, and good XP so kind of just killing a few birds with one stone. Uh, I've got to rank up my Sakura Penta as well, so... Okay, so we're up to 91 enemies, only about 40 more to go. Before we get to a 3 times or a 3 by multiplier. Yeah, Secure Elector is really good too for getting additional credits. I heard they're going to nerf it very soon. Um, so that doesn't stack the teammate. Uh, which is kind of stuck. So we're up to 130, it must be 135 enemies before it, uh, before it gets to the three times combo multiplier. Good thing they're doing this solo as well, is that as soon as you say let's battle, it doesn't actually count down. Um, the, uh, the timer fighting. for the next wave starts uh, right away. Will soon. But as soon as we get to, um, I'm pretty sure it's 135 kills, um, it will then get up to a three times multiplier. There we go, 135 kills, three by multiplier. All we're going to do now is just basically keep the scale for 30 seconds, and we have unlocked the mod. Do is we'll get this done. We come up very shortly. And what we'll do then is we'll skip to the end and I'll show you what uh, we'll actually get unveiled. There we go, we, we've completed that challenge. The mod is unlocked. Don't know what it will be until we finish the mission. Um, rather than make it sit through four rounds, what we'll do is fast forward it and uh, I'll show you what I get at the end. <laughs> 